Hello everyone, welcome to the AI practical series. In this particular session, we'll study about the association role mining. So I have divided this session into four parts. The first part is explanation of association role mining. So what is this role mining is? Then second is the we will we'll implement this using a uh, Python. So we'll have the code. So I will explain the code. The third part will be the execution of the code. We will get some output. And the fourth part is the interpretation of whatever output we are getting. So these are the four things we'll be doing in this particular session. In case if you know this, uh, the the what, what is this, uh, the theory part, then you can directly skip to the code explanation. So let us see what is association rule mining. Now association rule mining, like we have an example of, we'll, we'll be using in this particular session is a priori algorithm. So the use of this a priori algorithm is to find the commonly used we, we, we have to use the we find the patterns and associations in the transactional data. So we have a data set some data sets. So we'll find the associations between those. So what our primary goal would be to discover the relationship between items in the data set. We will see one example here of the market basket. So the primary use of this, uh, there can be ma there are many uses. Of course, one of the uses is uh, um, making some recommendations. So if we are buying something, uh, some data, some data from a market, then it will also recommend based on uh, the relationship of that particular data with the other data. So we'll see some example here. So first thing we know we need is to find the frequent item sets. So what the a priori algorithm does, the a priori algorithm finds the frequent item sets, which are combinations of items that occur together. For example, it is seen that in a particular market, a person is buying milk and bread. So these two things uh, generally come together that a person who is buying milk, it is most, most probable that that person will also buy bread. So these two things, they are the frequent, this, this particular algorithm, it, it classifies them together. So the algorithm would identify these two as frequent, frequent item set. Then what is the association rule? So this, the algorithm then generates some association rules based on this relationship between the items. So <coughs> the association, it comes of two parts. The rule comes of two parts, if then. Generally in, in this, what we see, the, the rule comes of the two, two, two things, two, two parts, if then if and then so the thing which comes after if is called the antecedent and the thing which comes after the the then part is called the consequent like for example if a customer buys milk so this part okay so this is the antecedent then they are likely to buy bread so this part they are likely to buy bread is the consequent so the, we, we make this rule so when we make the SOS when we get this association we can make the rules like if a person buys milk then they are likely to buy bread then uh, we have some metrics like one of the metric is support then confidence then lift so this metric or the parameter support it measures how often the rule is applicable then confidence measures how often the rule is true and lift measures how much more likely the consequent is given the antecedent compared to its individual probability then uh, we can with this thing we can also see the recommendations so we can use this discovered associations and the rules to make the recommendation that what we can make that if a customer adds milk to their shopping cart you can use the rules to suggest that they can consider adding bread also so we can give suggestions that a person is buying a milk so based on the data set we know that a person who is buying milk can will also buy bread so we can just uh, suggest this so this can lead to cross selling and increase sales this we can do so this is this was the theory part now this is the uh, program we will be using this okay uh, this is the python code i will explain the python code so we will use this is the data set milk bread nuts then milk bread then milk egg nuts milk bread eggs bread nuts so this is the uh, python code i will share this code in the description section you can copy this from there okay of course there are various other ways to i have used this particular method i will now explain the code and after explanation we'll execute the code and then interpret the result
This code demonstrates how to use the a priori algorithm and the ML extend library to find frequent item sets and generate association rules from a transaction dataset. Let's break down the code step by step. Import necessary libraries. ML extend frequent patterns for the a priori algorithm and association rule generation. Pandas for working with data in a data frame. Define a sample transaction dataset. The dataset variable contains a list of lists where each list represents a transaction. Each transaction contains items such as milk, bread, and nuts. Convert the dataset to a pandas data frame. Create a data frame DF from the dataset, making it easier to work with the data. Perform one hot encoding, convert items to columns. In this step, you use one hot encoding to convert the items in the data frame into binary columns. Each unique item becomes a separate column with values of 0 or 1, depending on whether the item is present in the transaction. This encoding is essential for applying the a priori algorithm, which expects binary input. Find frequent item sets using a priori. The a priori function from the ML extend library is used to find frequent item sets. It takes the encoded data frame, DF encoded, a minimum support threshold, min support, and specifies that you want to use column names in the output, use kernel names is equal to true. The min support parameter sets the minimum support threshold. In this example, it's set to 0.5 meaning item sets that appear in at least 50% of the transactions will be considered frequent. Print the frequent item sets. The code prints the frequent item sets found by the a priori algorithm, along with their support values. Generate association rules. The association rules function is used to generate association rules from the frequent item sets. It takes the frequent item sets found in the previous step, specifies the metric to evaluate the rules, lift, and sets a minimum threshold, min threshold, for rule generation. Print the association rules. The code prints the association rules, which include antecedents, consequence, support, confidence, lift, leverage, conviction, and Jung's metric for each rule. These rules provide insights into item associations in the dataset. The output will include the frequent item sets and the association rules found in the dataset, allowing you to identify patterns and associations between items in the transactions. Now let us execute the code. So I am into the Google Colab. You can even do it on Python ID. So I'll just click, I'll just cancel this out and I'll just click on code first we need to install the library so for that purpose we need to install this pip install so we need ml extend so it is short for, for M, uh, machine learning extension libraries so i'll just uh, install this ml extend so this is what we need to install So this is done. Now uh, I have copied the code. Just click here. I'll just paste the code here. So this is our required code. Now this is the data set. We can even change the data set, data set if you want. So I've used this data set where what this represents is a person buying milk will also buy bread and nuts. Generally buys it. So milk and bread, then milk, egg, nuts, milk, bread, eggs then bread nuts so these are the data set we are having list of lists so let us now execute and then let us see what we are output we are getting so this is the output what we are getting so frequent data items as we saw it is uh, giving 0 0.8 the, the, the support value is 0 0.8 for milk 0 0.6 was milk and 0 0.6 bread milk so most frequently this data item was brought by the customers then the second was the, the bread and this uh, 0 0.6 were bread and milk both were brought together 
so this is the association rule okay this is the association which is given to us the first one bread and milk so this is the antecedent so what does it so show if the person buys bread and the person also then also it the person buys the milk so this is the antecedent if bread then milk is a 0.6 and the second one association is if milk then bread so the chance that the person is buying if the bu person is buying milk then also buys bread is 0.8 so this gives the thing here then this is the these are the other parameters so we see the confidence the lift the leverage the conviction and the zengs matrix so these are the things uh, we get the output so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching